Chiefs Chairman and CEO Clark Hunt joins us under the helmet. Clark, this is a team that Todd Haley likes to say is in transition. But for you, this has been a franchise in transition, well, for the past several years. And none other than this beautiful building we're standing in now. Now that the dust has settled in the new Arrowhead, what have you enjoyed about it the most? Well, we had extremely high expectations for the new Arrowhead throughout the construction and design process. But frankly, the finished product really exceeded my wildest expectations. Probably the most gratifying thing for me has been walking around on game days and talking to our fans. Whether it's in the Hall of Honor or Founders Plaza or up on the horizon level, the fans are really enjoying the building. And frankly, that's the most important thing to me. Well, the fans, the new Arrowhead's great, but we all know the most important thing to them is the product on the field. It's now been 22 months since Todd Haley and Scott Pioli, you brought them into the organization. How do you feel about their progress so far? Well, we're very excited about the start to the 2010 season. And frankly, the credit goes to Scott, Todd, and the entire football operations department. They had a fantastic offseason with the free agent acquisitions, the great draft class, bringing in some additional coaches who really helped us this year. I have very high expectations, frankly, for the rest of the season. It's a very exciting time. And I think most importantly that the foundation is being laid for the future. Our goal is to have a team that can consistently compete for a championship, and I see that foundation being laid. Well, we know the Hunt family, the on-field product's important, but so is the Chiefs contributions off the field. This is a big month for the Chiefs in helping out the Kansas City community. Talk about some of the things that the Chiefs are doing off the field right now. Well, it's very important to us as a family and as an organization that our players, coaches, and really everybody associated with the organization understand how important it is to give back to the Kansas City community. We kicked off the year with our annual Chiefs charity game, where for the second year in a row, the Children's Center for the Visually Impaired was our beneficiary. This past month, we had a chance to honor the military with our annual Veterans Day game for all that the military does to make our country so great and such a wonderful place to live. And this month is Hunger Relief Month. We kicked off the month with our annual Lift Up America event, where we partnered with Tyson's Food to distribute over 30,000 pounds of protein to needy families families throughout the community. Later this month we'll have our annual Thanksgiving uh, basket giveaway where our staff and players will donate a thousand baskets to needy families around the Thanksgiving holiday. When I think about this season, I think about the fans. Their involvement at the New Arrowhead has been unbelievable and well, the Chiefs have responded being a perfect 4-0 at the New Arrowhead for the first time since 2003. How have you seen that 12-man factor translate into game days here? Well, Arrowhead has such a reputation around the league for being a very difficult stadium to play in. And it's been gratifying to see the new Arrowhead living up to the reputation uh, that's been built over the last 20 or 30 years here. No doubt about it, the fans have been a big part of our success this year. You mentioned the 4-0 start. Uh, we've got four games coming up here over the next month and a half that are very important to our playoff hopes. And I know that the fans are going to be a big part of the success that we have on the field. Uh, Doc, I just got your email. I'm out for the season. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I switched to Sprint 69.99 plan, so I get unlimited emails. What, what does that mean? It means I'm dropping you for my fantasy team, that's for sure. What does that mean about my knee? Oh, your knee's totally shattered. You see how hard that guy hits you? I, I don't want to see... Hey, 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 relax. Not costing me any extra. Why just talk with AT&T and Verizon? Sprint has unlimited text, web, and calling to any mobile for $69.99.